Welcome to the Game Week 11 team selection. Having temporarily sold the Spurs forward as part of two free transfers last game week, there is an easy route to get Harry Kane back in for game week 11, if he's set to start against Crystal Palace. He's taken part in full training for Spurs ahead of their midweek clash with Real Madrid in the Champions League, so Kane's return is looking promising at this stage. With over £5 million remaining in the bank, Jamie Vardy will be the man to make way, should Kane be deemed fit to start at the weekend. The Leicester forward finally returned to the score sheet against Everton last game week, and that goal will make for a nice parting gift. We'll be hanging on for more news before making the transfer, but here's how we're likely to line up for game week 11. There's a choice to be made between the sticks, as Rob Elliott lines up ahead of Newcastle's home game against Bournemouth, while Ben Foster provides an alternative, with West Brom travelling to Huddersfield. Tony Pulis' side have failed to keep a clean sheet since game week 5, and are weakened by the injury to Craig Dawson, so it's the Newcastle goalkeeper who gets the nod. It could be an unchanged defence from last game week, with Cedric Suarez facing Burnley at home, Phil Jones travelling to Chelsea, and Ben Mee lining up against Southampton. Southampton and Burnley have struggled for goals this season, with each team having scored nine times so far. Only five teams have scored fewer goals. Despite a potentially tricky away trip to Stamford Bridge for Man United, Phil Jones remains an option, having secured eight clean sheets already this season, keeping out Spurs and Liverpool during the last three game weeks. Kyle Norton offers an alternative, however, with Swansea hosting a Brighton side that have scored five times over the last four game weeks. Pascal Gross has been a consistent threat this season, and he's the main reason for benching the Swansea defender, as things stand. It's a return to a four-man midfield, as Christian Eriksen lines up against Crystal Palace. Despite their positive result last weekend, Roy Hodgson's side have conceded eight goals over the last four game weeks. Only Everton, Stoke and Huddersfield have conceded more. After starting on the bench for each of the last two Premier League games, we're hoping Raheem Sterling has done enough to warrant a starting place when Man City host Arsenal this weekend. The Man City midfielder has provided four goals and two assists during his last four appearances, and only four players have taken more shots from inside the box within the same period. Richarlison will get another chance against Everton in game week 11 after failing to get on the score sheet last weekend. He's taken more efforts from inside the box than any other midfielder, but only three of his 19 shots have found the target. Finally, Mo Salah will travel to West Ham in game week 11. His seven shots on target over the last four game weeks are more than any other midfielder has managed, and only Harry Kane has taken more during that period. Despite failing to score in any of the last three Premier League games, Romelu Lukaku has provided assists for both Manchester United goals over the last two game weeks. It's a tough away trip to Chelsea for Jose Mourinho's side in game week 11, but confidence will be high following the win over Spurs. Harry Kane is likely to come back into the team if he comes through midweek and looks set to start against Crystal Palace. Despite missing game week 10, the Spurs forward has still provided more goals and shots on target than any other Premier League player over the last four game weeks. Finally, Tammy Abraham will come into our starting lineup after we opted to start Ruben Loftus Cheek ahead of the Swansea forward in game week 10. He's been directly involved in five of his team's seven goals in the Premier League, scoring four times himself and providing one assist. Mo Salah deputised as our captain last game week, and in the event that Kane is not available for the weekend, it will likely be the Liverpool midfielder who captains our team once again, for their fixture against West Ham. The Hammers have conceded six times over the last four game weeks, and only Watford and Stoke have conceded more big chances during that period. But if he's available, Harry Kane will be coming into the team and taking that captain's armband, ahead of the home fixture against Crystal Palace. Starting 11 is the perfect daily companion to your season-long FPL squad, whether you're at the top or bottom of your mini-league table. 